my name is Blake Kuwahara. I'm actually a, a, an optometrist by profession. I went to UC, UCLA for my undergraduate work in UC Berkeley School of Optometry. And I was in private practice for about four years and then became interested in designing eyewear and became creative director for Liz Claiborne Optics. And I've been creative director for two companies where I oversee the creative direction of the product and also the marketing and integrate with sales. And four years ago, I started my own company called Focus Group West. We're a multidisciplinary design company. We have eyewear designers, graphic designers, architects, PR agent, and project managers, and we work on projects on a comprehensive basis. So it allows us to each use our individual skill sets, but because we work as a team, we're able to take a holistic approach to branding. Trends in eyewear aren't necessarily all going in one direction. It's just like fashion, it's quite divergent. Uh, we're seeing both large size frames as well as small size frames, but there is a little bit more of an emphasis now on rounder shapes where we've been in a marketplace of rectangular for a long, long time. We are seeing that uh, frames are getting rounder and also smaller. And so a lot more inf influence from the 30s and 40s. A lot of vintage styles, a lot of retro styles are becoming popular, particularly for men. And on the women's side, we're still seeing a strong influence from the 70s and 80s, so bigger frames, as well as a little bit more color on the women's side. More translucent colors, less solid colors. And for men, a lot more tortoises and horns. Because Focus Group West is a multidisciplinary company, uh, we work primarily in the optical industry, but even within the optical industry, we have uh, different areas that we focus on. We have two architects on our team that do display work as well as retail uh, designs for optical boutiques and dispensaries. We've done over 21 optical uh, boutiques and we also do, as I said, retail displays. We have a PR agent that helps to communicate uh, our clients' brands, both at the consumer as well as the trade level, as well as through social media. Uh, so we have a whole section of our business which is related and dedicated to public relations. And we also uh, consult in the world of fashion. So one of our clients is a very large menswear uh, manufacturer they manufacture all the suits for J. Crew, for instance, and I work with the design team to help them understand and distill the essence of brands so that they can uh, have a better understanding how to translate the brand essence into apparel. So some of our clients, for instance, are Ralph Lauren, Polo, Giorgio Armani, Paul Smith, uh, Calvin Klein, are all clients that we work with on the apparel side of the uh, business. The inspiration comes from a lot of things. Um, I actually don't really look uh, at optical stores so much for inspiration. It's really about going to local markets, going to flea markets, the architecture, the uh, hand craftsmanship. You know, when I was I've only had a, f a few days in uh, Bogota, but I've been able to to visit some amazing places. And what strikes me is really the sense of artistry and hand craftsmanship. I picked up a knapsack, which is all handmade, and they said that it takes about 20 days to a month to make. And that's a lot of dedication, but it is, you know, the combination of color and material that creates something that's interesting and new, unique. And I think that in and of itself, the artisan sh artisanship and attention to detail, which is important, um, that, you know, I'll take back with me. I think in terms of trends, uh, trends are tr transcending borders now, where you're finding what trends in the United States, also trends in Europe and trends in Latin America, because we live in a digital age. So information travels very quickly. We're influenced by the same sorts of things, media, movie stars, uh, books, publications. So I think that the world is becoming much smaller uh, from a design standpoint. So there are definitely a lot more similarities. But you know there are certain things that are going to be different because with 
uh, the coloration, the skin tone is more olive, so the color tones are going to be different in Latin America as opposed to Northern Europe where they like more vibrant colors. I think here it's about richer colors, richer tonalities, jewel tones. Um, I do think from an optical perspective, from a fashion perspective, uh, that um, Latin America uh, has a little bit of catching up to do. And I think that's not necessarily because of the consumer. I think the consumer is open and wants to wear the most cutting edge product. I do think that it's more difficult for them to find. There aren't as many high-end specialty optical boutiques in uh, Latin America that I've seen so far, at least in this uh, section of Bogota that I visited. And so I think once there's more availability, the consumer will certainly uh, soon be soon to catch up. Right now, you're, we're seeing a lot more integrate, integration of technology uh, with eyewear. There's a whole presentation on Google Glass. Uh, this is not something that's going to go away. One of the projects that I'm working on now is very similar in terms of integrating technology with eyewear. Uh, but this case, it's actually fluid-filled lenses. So the lenses change power by compressing the fluid within the lens, and so the power changes. So it's designing eyewear that's compatible with this new lens technology. So again, it's about integrating uh, technology with fashion. I think a recommendation for optometrists and opticians, not only in Latin America but throughout the world, is to be a little bit more aware about what's going on in fashion. And as an optometrist myself, you know, our background and training was more medically uh, directed. So the priority was in really the health care of the patients, as it should be. But we do prescribe lenses, and those lenses have to go into a frame. So it's important to really have an understanding about what is trending, what's important, what w looks good on somebody, what's appropriate for their lifestyle, what's good, what's appropriate for how they dress, um, and be an active participant in the retail world, whether or not that's the physical retail space and designing it appropriately so that it's enticing and exciting for the consumer to actually be an active participant on the fashion end of things. Go to fashion shows, read fashion magazines, look out in the street, see what people are wearing, you know, those are all uh, important clues in terms of what brands you need to carry, what kind of product you need to carry, and what kind of designs you need to carry in your dispensary.